Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're at the Montreal Children's Hospital to speak with pediatric dentist Dr. Stéphane Schwartz to get the facts about the fluoride debate. How can ingesting fluoride be beneficial to one's health? The enamel is the most inorganic material we have in our body, all right? And it's made, it's like all, almost like a, like a beehive. It's made of little hexagons, that little rods. And in between those rods, which are very, very strong, you have an, another material which is not that strong. What happens is that your teeth are always between mineralization and demineralization. And what the fluoride does is that it will act in about three or four different ways to help the enamel. First of all, when you ingest before the tooth erupts, when the tooth is forming, it will make the enamel stronger. But that's not the main thing. The main thing is that when you ingest fluoride, it will be secreted in your salivary glands and therefore it will bath your, your enamel with fluoride. The bacteria in your mouth will ingest your carbohydrate, reject acidity, and this acid is going to demineralize the enamel. And this is where also the fluoride interferes and prevents the bacteria from doing that. So it, it has a lot of properties and it acts very nicely. How can putting fluoride in tap water benefit the public? Because it is the only way to cover all the people at the mercy of cavities. People who are poor, families that have no notion of what prevention is. And that water with the fluoride will protect everybody, everything. In fact, the World Health Organization said that fluoridating drinking water was one of the tenth stronger public health decision that has been made in the last century. What do opponents of water fluoridation say to stir the debate? The best way to fight something is to scare people, and this is what they do. The opponent to fluoride are very versatile. You know, it can cause Alzheimer, brain tumor. I even read in one of the, uh, of the articles, because everything which is printed is not necessarily, you know, the truth. And uh, <coughs> I was reading one where they claim that uh, uh, Toronto, Toronto has been fluoridated since 1961, I think, uh, men were more important. So I thought that was really the top of it and I stopped reading the articles. Is there such a thing as overexposure to fluoride? The high, the real fluorosis that uh, people scare, that the anti-fluorosis people scare people with, is, um, is yellow and very unsightly. But you still can hide it if it happens. In fact, a lot of water has been naturally fluoridated. Some wells have a natural fluoride. And that's how the uh, action of fluoride was discovered. At the beginning of the uh, 20th century, it was in Colorado, and they noticed that uh, in a village, all the people and all the children had very yellow, unseeing teeth, but none of them was curious. And that was the fluoride that did that, but they had a very, very high concentration and that gave what you call the fluoroses. Thank you very much. You're most welcome.